What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Mill, back today with some more knowledge. Now, look, in today's video, I'll be teaching you what is the matrix, what is the purpose, and how to escape it. From my experience, the matrix is almost like a computer-generated simulator, but it's not that. It's way deeper than that. This world, or all nine dimensions, if you don't know, there are nine dimensions, but in this dimension, we're in the third dimension. Everything in our reality is based off of consciousness. Now, consciousness is what allows me to live and perceive my life as I live it through my mind. And it's the same thing that allows you to perceive what you perceive in your life. So whenever you get knocked unconscious, you, have, you don't have the ability to see anything in life. You don't see anything. Some people live in this life unconsciously and they are controlled by outside objects such as the government. They are controlled by what their parents tell them. They are controlled by family, their best friend, boyfriend, and girlfriend, right? A lot of people are controlled by other objects other than themselves, okay? So in my life, I used to live for everybody because I knew deep down inside that I was here to help humanity, but I didn't understand that instead of helping everybody with their problems and doing what everybody wants me to do, I have to do that through my own lens. Once you develop your own lens and you do things based off of what you truly are, what you truly are here for, that's when your consciousness is being aware. Whenever you are becoming aware, that's what consciousness is. It's basically just being aware of life, being conscious and not <clears throat> unconscious type shit. Another way to explain consciousness is this. Whenever we learn information, whenever we sun gaze, whenever we do things that are more towards gaining information, that will help you ascend to higher realms of reality. So there's a thing called karma. If you do good, then good will come back to you. But if you do bad, then bad will come back to you, right? What goes around comes around. In order to ascend out of this third dimension, you need to obtain consciousness. You need to attain your light body to get to heaven or whatever you want to call it. It's not really that. It's a mindset. It's a higher dimension that we're already in. You have to develop your light body. Whenever you start meditating, you have to meditate in order to gain consciousness of your spiritual body. You have to read information to gain consciousness for your spiritual body. You have to do a lot of things that we are not told in this matrix. So what is the matrix? The matrix is almost like a simulation that is meant to keep us distracted from our true spiritual selves, okay? Now, if you pay attention, what do you see in this world? You see politics, they give us bad food, they feed us medicine that makes us always go back to us, well, go back to the pharmaceuticals. They treat black people in a way that makes them feel like they're less of society whenever that's not the case. We're all humans. But certain people are on top of the world. Some people are looked at as being bottom, right? Everything in this world is a duality. No matter what situation you go in, you will always understand there will be a rich or poor. There will be pretty and ugly. You feel me? Things like that. A duality within everything. Do not be distracted by those things because the duality does not exist on other dimensions. It's just one, okay? So understanding oneness is what will help you get out of the matrix even faster. So it took me a few weeks to understand what oneness was. I was like, bro, how are we all the same? This does not make sense to me. It does not. I literally was sitting there on the phone with this girl and I was writing it down on my notes because I was trying to map out what I did in my mind. I was trying to map out my thought process. And here's pretty much what I said. Basically, Protons, neutrons, and electrons are responsible for all the things in this world. Those are the physical makeups of everything in this world. My arm has protons, neutrons, and electrons. You have that. My wall, my camera, like everything is protons, neutrons, and electrons. With that being understood, those things can disintegrate and recreate and create new organisms. So whenever you die, your body is decomposed by these um, decomposers that go into the ground and then your body is regenerated. Our soul is what is outside of this physical reality. So we all have souls, which is basically consciousness. So we all have souls, which is basically consciousness balled up and put into our bodies so that we can live and perceive life through consciousness. The only thing that we use is consciousness, nothing else. 
You feel me? Please understand that everything in this world is consciousness. So how do you escape the matrix? Number one, you have to understand that you are consciousness and not this physical body. This physical body was created by your spirit, by your soul, so that you can be here in this world to experience life. Everything that you do in this life is experienced through your mind, through your consciousness. You perceive everything through consciousness. After you understand that you are not this human vessel, you have to then start paying attention and being aware of your reality. What's in your reality? How do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? How can you make yourself feel good? Because whatever makes you feel happy is your purpose in life. Now, I'm not saying go do drugs because they make you feel happy. No, that's a false sense of happiness. Love is the only happiness. And love can only be accessed by meditation and connecting with the creator. You will not receive real love on this physical level from any person out here. You go get a girlfriend. That's not love. That's just lust. Everything on this world is lust. God is the only true way of love. Okay? Just like in the Bible it says, I am the way, I am the light, I am love. That's what God is. But it's it don't matter what you believe in, Jesus, spirituality. It's all the same thing, but in a different perspective of understanding. Now that you understand that you're not the body and you want to gain consciousness and you become aware of your consciousness, you then start to live your life righteously. You live your life in a way so you can show love to everybody. Showing love to everyone, even though a lot of people don't want to hear this part, showing love to everyone is what will help everyone else in their lives. So instead of you going around this world being like, man, I hate this person because I'm bad, because I'm down bad. I'm going to show hate to that person. No, it doesn't matter. You have to show love to yourself. You have to love yourself and love everyone else because they are you. Why would you want to hate on somebody if you are them? We are the same. There's nothing different between us. We are two different perspectives from the same source, but... The only difference is this physical body, but the physical body is not you. So you can't get trapped in the physical body. You live righteously and you are using your consciousness. You will then be able to ascend, but it's not ascension at this point. Whenever you die, whatever information that you abs absorb during this body, you need to absorb a lot of information, a lot of consciousness. The more consciousness that you bring into your, your physical or spiritual body, into your consciousness, you will then begin to ascend to the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, sixth dimension. It's all about consciousness. Nothing else matters besides consciousness. There's a lot of ways to get consciousness. Like I said, you can sun gaze, you can read, you can meditate. Meditation is one of the most important ways to absorb consciousness. Consciousness, bro, I'm telling y'all, consciousness is the way. It's Bro, it's nothing else beside consciousness. Whenever you gain more consciousness, this is what allows you to develop your spiritual body. Some people say diamond body because that's where I'm more leading to because I don't really choose a side because the light side and there's a dark side. But the middle is the combination of all. That's the diamond body. That's why you see rainbows in the sky and it's like all these colors and stuff. That's your. That's what your diamond body is going to look like. It's absorbent of all colors, of all consciousness. And it is helping you ascend to a higher dimension. But as long as you stay in this physical reality, absorbed by TV, absorbed by social media, absorbed by what everybody else tells you, and you don't know yourself, you have to find yourself before you will even get anywhere in this world. You will be right back in the same exact spot if you don't learn what you need to do. So basically to break down the whole entire video, how to escape the matrix. Understand that you are not this body. You are the consciousness, obtain consciousness, find love, show love, receive love, give love, be love. <laughs> Bro, love is important too. Consciousness, be aware of your consciousness. And also stop eating shitty foods. Because this meat and stuff is not is not good for you. That's just something I wanted to say. But yeah, but it's been your boy Measy Mill with this video. Hopefully you can understand what I mean. I may make a part two to this. If you would like to see a part two, it will be a more detailed version. This video is just off the dome from my experience in my life of how I've been able to escape the matrix and what I've been able to do and how I've been able to live and what has benefited me after I escaped the matrix. With that being said, I'm out.